What's up everyone? I wanted to share this quick tip tutorial with you guys on how we can get some color adjustment on the fly within Resolume. So there's a couple of different ways that I like to do this. And the first is gonna be through adding a hue rotate effect within your composition. And then the second will be through setting up a layer that's designated specifically for color adjustment. And this can be useful when let's say we're in a position to where the LD or the laser tech that you're working with are requesting a specific set of colors or a color. And once we have this set up, through the twist of a knob or the press of a button, we'll be able to adjust to whatever colors requested accordingly. So for Hue Rotate, we're gonna locate that within our effects here. So go to View, Show Effects. Then we're gonna drag and drop the Hue Rotate effect here into our composition panel. And I like to make sure that that is set to the top of my effect list. That way, if we have any other plugins or effects active that are using color, Hue Rotate will take priority over that and then we will get the full color that is needed. So once we have that dropped in here to our composition panel, we're gonna to have to map out the opacity and the Hue Rotate parameters to our MIDI controller. And I like to set both of those to two different knobs here. So as you can see here, we have the opacity at 100 now and we are getting this red color here. And then for the Hue Rotate parameter here, we will have full access to the color wheel and we'll be able to choose from any color that is requested here. And so it is important to uh, note that from zero to two, we have uh, red, orange, and yellows. From two to four, we have our greens. From four to six-ish, seven-ish, we have our blues and then from seven, to 100, we have our purples and magentas and back to red. So I like to kind of uh, get used to that uh, range here. That way, if we need to adjust something before we put the opacity at 100, it's already set and ready. So you'll get more familiar with that as you use it more. But yeah, that's how I like to have my hue rotate set up within my composition. If you like tutorials like these, we get a full classroom and it's way beyond what we got here on YouTube plugins, loops. We got insider tips and tricks from a community of experienced VJs. Now, if you haven't yet, check out our week free trial to see for yourself and download some unique assets. So the other method that I like to use for color adjustment is gonna be setting a bunch of different presets on a layer here. And so I have a layer that's designated specifically for color. And then I have a bunch of different color presets as you can see here, but I'm primarily using one color plugin for this, and that's gonna be the corner color tint plugin. So if you don't have that already, I'll be sure to drop it uh, below for you guys. It's one of my favorite ones to use. And it gives us access to uh, mix and match a set of four different colors. So if I crank up the opacity on this layer, you can see that this one is more of like a water-based preset with a bunch of different blues. I have this one that's RGB themed. I have one that's fire and ice. I have some that are more earthy toned. Uh, another cool thing about this plugin actually is we can take this rotation angle parameter here. We can put a timeline on it and then we get this um, rotation effect that kind of goes through all the four different colors that we set. And so it's re really clean. I like to use it a lot. But yeah, again, it's just nice to have a layer set with a bunch of different color presets ready to fire off whenever you need to. But yeah, these are the two methods that I like to use for color adjustment on the fly. So I hope that you found this useful and I'll see you guys in the next one.